you were saying. <laughs> Sometimes the inner squad challenges get more competitive than the actual lifeguard tournament. Oh yeah, that's good. You're <laughs> yeah. seeing each other every day. Yeah, the officers go. Uh, you know, they they get a little. Uh, enthusiastic right a little, a little competitive bit. with each other and then they would get their squads going and uh we have a whiteboard in our headquarters and we keep score so yeah. all well, that's what's behind you the whiteboard yeah, yeah. yeah. see yeah. I, I, that's what i like about you know competition especially mm -hmm. inner and in, even if you don't go to the uh, you know other beaches you have inter squad competition and and you know when there's a cold day or you're mm -hmm. tired or the ocean's a little bit snotty you may not go in, but then you're saying to yourself, I got to get in there. I got to train because they're training and I got to, and it, it gives you that, makes you take that extra step mm -hmm. and, you know, you, you know, the old adage, get, get up in the morning, you know? Right. And uh, I think that's really a, a, a really good part of that. And it makes you, and when you get the competitive right. edge, then you start, you know, it's all, it, it, it translates all across the whole air, air, you know, who could pick up things, who's working on the beach, you know, you, it just, it's level, it, it increases the level of excellence, I think, you know? So that's yeah, great. It's, that's a, it's a lot of fun, right? Uh, they they start scheming in the tower, planning and uh, scheming their order, who's going to swim. And I think so my favorite uh, challenge we ever did was a swim, row, swim. Yeah. It's the Iron Man. Well, that's swim, yeah. though. Swim, swim, row, row swim, swim, or yeah. Swim, row, swim. So you had a partner. Yeah. It was like a box. So the boat was waiting out at the buoy with one partner in it. One partner started on the beach. So that partner to swim out to the boat, jump like a in, boat pickup. You would right. row ah. horizontally or parallel to the shore to the other buoy, and then the other person had to jump out and swim. That's a nice race. Cool, I like yeah. that. That's yeah. a good one. That's a good one. That's yeah, a, that's that's done. a lot of fun. I used to we used to do the arm man, you know, row, row, mm -hmm. row swim, and paddle. But the uh, so you have four. So the way you set up your beach trip is you have four squads, and then each one has a sergeant. Mm -hmm. Or and, yeah. and, and go ahead. And it's and on then, live. Go ahead. And so, so you run. How many people are under you? Like you're a sergeant. So, what is your? You have an area, and how many uh, stands do you run or each control? Each squad will cover three stands, uh, depending on the years. You would have like ten to sixteen guards. Right. And um, then, and then, uh, so there's four sergeants, and I guess you rotate them. Then, how many lieutenants are above that? You have lieutenants. Two lieutenants. One Two. for each beach. We have North Beach and South Beach. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. And so they you guys do different and events and every year. Different events every year. Yes. Yeah. You guys do beach flags. Yes. I'm a sucker for beach flags. Yeah. I think it's so fun. That's yeah. one of the most competitive. Oh yeah. Ones. <laughs> and we have a thing. It gets called real physical. Island beach rules, which really means that there are no, no rules. rules. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> that's the way to do it. Yeah. When we go at it, it's uh, I. You know, we call. Okay, today's island beach rules. And there's no rules. So yeah. See, oh, I, I don't want to tell her how, our bad. You know, we go back in the day, but we used to go down to, um, uh, I guess it was Fort Lauderdale or Hollywood, Hollywood Beach. And there was a few years, they used to invite, I don't know if you remember this, we used to invite mm -hmm. the beach patrol. So they would invite Asbury Park, Atlantic City. We would go down. And actually, one winter, I went down with Joe Brento, that, that pitcher, mm -hmm. and Joe Casino. And we were going to compete in Hollywood. Uh, now again, we're not, you know, we don't have any equipment. It's kind of it's off the our or, season. Or lock. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. so, and um, you know, we we're so we got there, and and the night before the tournament, everybody, we, there's a party, and nobody's drinking. You know, we're like, you know, you know, like we're st we're stinking drunk, and you know, everybody's like looking at us because they're all serious about this. We're not. And then the next day, when the tournament came out, the flags are all out there. So we started working out, and we swim out there. And if you know, the flags are they have. Uh, like in Lavalette, we used um, uh, uh, anchors, but there they had blocks. So what we did is we went out there, and Joe Rento swam down to the bottom, picked up the block, and moved it in about 20 feet, <laughs> right? <laughs> Wait, so, so, then there were, so then the one the, – so we started competing, yeah. right? And, we, we, you know, we, we were, like, uh, you know, uh, tying for last place. But still, we were – you know, it didn't look embarrassing. And then we had one where, like you said, there was a pickup. So you swim out to the buoy, mm -hmm. and you wait there. And, and it starts off the beach, and then, you know, it's a relay. And so I remember when we're sitting out there, all the other lifeguards are there, and I'm, like, in about 20, <laughs> 20 feet, and they're like, is there something wrong? I go, oh, it must have been, must have, the boat must have dragged on one of the relays. <laughs> so when you talk about no rules, oh, you know, yeah, the, yeah. years ago, lifeguarding was, was kind of like, you know, uh, the tournaments I'm talking right. about, com competition. They were a little bit, little bit uh, you know, uh, yeah. a little shaky around the rules. They do, uh, you guys, uh, when we do it, we... Uh, Put out the uh, the roster, and then uh, they have a draft, right? You draft the, the, we the do guys. Have a draft. Yeah. That's fun. Top secret. Yeah, oh. top secret. And <laughs> I, I stay out of it. I let them handle it. They yeah. uh, go up in the tower and they sit there and they uh, they hold the draft. Now let me. Chip, you guys, we have a um, um, uh, 
in, uh, what we used to call lobster bake. You know, mm-hmm. years ago we actually used to have a come with a bulldozer. You know, dig a giant hole, put rocks in there, burn it. You know, and yeah. um, get the rocks hot, and then we put about two hundred lobster, put seaweed, put a you know mm-hmm. big tarp, and then have this you know uh, lobster bake. Now we have it catered and everything. We're all now sophisticated, but we have that, and then we have a banquet. Mm-hmm. So what do you guys have? You guys have something like you know any kind of like. You know, maybe pizza night or like, how does it, what do you guys do over there? So tell us, what do you, what's, what do you, how do you guys, do you guys have any kind of like, a, you know, like a banquet or a midsummer party or we awards do, or? We I'm do sorry. have a banquet at the end of the summer with awards and it's usually held at a restaurant somewhere. Sometimes we've had it on the beach and we've had food catered. Oh, that sounds like, right. yeah. And we'll give out five to six awards depending right. on the year. We do the, uh, the rookie barbecue. Yeah. Uh, following their, their uh, rookie test. Um, when they, uh, we call it earning their reds. They can't wear the reds until they earn them. So um, once they've uh, gone through their training and, and passed their training, we have a big barbecue, right? Mm-hmm. After, uh, it's pretty exciting, right? It's, uh, it's a nice night. And then we do a lot of social events just together. Um, yeah, we'll go to the uh, movies together. We like to organize sports, whether we're right. playing soccer one night, volleyball. Right. What, what's Pete Nelda's <laughs> Pete Nelda's night in there. What's the, um, do you guys have like a rookie of the year, lifeguard of the year? Uh, so is that, how does that work? So tell me. So the awards we'll give out. What are they? Yeah. What are, what are um, the awards? So for rookies, you can get rookie of the year or you can get the RKT award. So Which R- is what? RKT What's stands for rookie knowledge test. So that whoever performed the best of the rookie class on the test before they sit. Uh-huh. Um, we, we have, have the beach patch. pride award. We have officer's choice award and lifeguard of the year. Ah. Uh-huh. Depending on if tournaments are going during the season, we now, will give out a tournament MVP. Now, the lifeguard a year. What? What? How does that? Like, what? What would be uh, uh, some of the things that a lifeguard would have to do to become a lifeguard a year? Like, what would be some of the, you know, like what outstanding? How, how would you pick that? If you're trying, when you go to vote for the lifeguard a year, I guess you all guys vote for it. Right. Yes, we yeah. do. We so do what, what do you look for? Like, what do you, you know, a big rescue or just somebody who's really passionate? Like, what's, what, if somebody won lifeguard a year at Ironbleed State Park, what would you tell me that in, in, in what, what is the essence of that individual, why they got that award? It goes to someone that's always willing to better themselves. They never think that, oh, I'm the greatest. I have to stop working. They're always working as hard as they can. And they kind of instill that mentality in the younger guards as well. And they teach them to perform in that way. So, look, be, Right, right up there. Yeah, you guys show mine. Lifeguard a year. What year is that? Ninety five. Ninety three. It looks 93. like. Ninety three. When were you born? Ninety five. <laughs> <laughs> That's lifeguard a year. Yeah. We have um, <laughs> officer choice. Right. Yeah. Yes. Talk about that one. So officer's choice goes to someone who begins to think in the officer mindset, and someone that we believe might be able to control the beach if one of the officers has to step away for some reason. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. 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 I like that a lot. That's like a good a one. Precursor to becoming an officer. It's, that yeah. It's someone that we yeah. we all mutually respect at a, I don't want to say at our level like we're above them, but just in terms no. of our experience no. and and uh, as Liv said that they could step into our position and uh in our absence and and things would be fine. Yeah, that's an important thing. And, uh, you know, Chip and I, when you become, you know, officers like us and we're running the beach, we, we, we could have somebody who knows the water, is a great lifeguard, made big rescues. But when we, we look at him to make him an officer, you have to have, you got to be uh, responsible. You know, and we've had officers, or guys that, or gals that we made officers, and I come in and they're out there surfing and, you know, nobody's monitoring the beach because there's big waves. And, you know, yeah. you got it. Yeah, and, and, and that, and now I'm very, you know. Right, and as Liv said, it's the officer's mindset. Yeah, that's it's a great thing to start. Perfect way to put it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's hard, and it's hard yeah. to, to pick that out. And, uh, you know, sometimes when, when you're an officer, you have to really look at the bigger picture. And, and then, what's the word I want to use? You know, uh, you, you can't think, be selfish. I mean, you have to be selfish. You can't think about what you want to do. Right. You know, there's right. days where I want to work out, and I can't. I have to sit up the yeah. headquarters right. and man the phones and watch everything. Right. And uh, or, or those days when the you know the waves are just perfect to go out and yep. and, yeah, yeah. And, you know, <laughs> you're sitting there and you're like, I, I, I gotta get this done. Yeah, well, it's even worse and, for the uh, captain. You know, right. that's what <laughs> yeah. these guys don't realize. You know, and, and uh, uh, beach pride, yeah. beach, beach pride. pride. 
So what's the Beach Pride one? What's that about? Uh, it goes to the most enthusiastic and motivated guard of the year. Mm. And is that is that sometimes the youngest one, or could, like is that sometimes the old, like older? Like how does? Because you always think it's the younger ones, but is it sometimes the you know? It varies year to year, but yeah. I would say it's usually second or third years after they've come back from their rookie summer. They've loved it so much, and they're really ready to go. Yeah, I, I I have fine memories of State Park. You know, I'm a lucky. I'm I've been very lucky because I worked at Lavalette, I worked at Seaside, I worked at State Park, and I can tell you each one of each all of these three beaches have flavors. They're they're it, it's it's you know it's try to tell the difference between strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate. Yeah, I mean, you right. really can't. They're they're yeah. all really you know yeah. really and I think, sweet. And that's that's one of, one of the things that makes uh, lifeguarding such a unique um, occupation, job, whatever uh, uh, experience. For me, I just call it an experience because. Um, you know, it's the camaraderie, the brotherhood, no matter where you go, like, and you, you know, we sit here, you're from different beaches. We're all s really talking the same thing, yeah. you know? And, uh, well, that's, that's why like on a busy day, you know, we look around I mean, we know like at state park is probably busy, you know, right. uh, uh, Island, um, you know, Seagirt, Spring Lake. And, 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 and of course, when we hear about a tragedy, it, you know, it kills us all. And, right. Uh, you know, these things that happened with lifeguards this summer, you know, really, it really, uh, you know, brings it home. And, uh, we, you know, you, you, I've been dealt with people and you dealt with people where, you know, people drown, you know, so it's a real serious thing. That's why it's, it's a lot of fun and, and uh, you have the ability to save somebody's life, but you also have to understand that it's, it's, it's not just working at Wawa. Right. And, right. Uh, you know, you, you're making a sandwich. I mean, yeah, this is and a... That's, that's